Hi, my name is Aymara and this is my husband Gordon. We are currently slow traveling throughout Albania and loving every minute of it. Sí. Prost. Prost. <laughs> Very good. But when we found out that we could hop on a ship in Albania and wake up in southern Italy, we just couldn't resist. However, we soon realized that this was going to be a travel day we would never forget. There's poop on the toilet. There's poop on the toilet. But was it worth it? Well, you can see for yourself in today's video. Good afternoon. Usually we say good morning, but today is good afternoon because we just got back from El Basan and we're back in Dures. If you saw our previous video where we took like the communist train, this is where things started for that. And now we're back because tonight we're going in an overnight ferry to Bari, Italy. Italia! And we're having Italian coffee to start celebrating, get in the mood. We camped for the ferry for another four hours, so we're here at this cute coffee shop getting some work done until it's time to leave. I just want to make it clear that we are not leaving Albania for good. We're just spending three days in Bari and then we are coming back to Albania to explore the whole country for another like two months or so. We love Albania. We can't wait to come back. And we're not leaving until we're both fluent in Albanian. Oh. Oh. We got our tickets. There's three massive ferries behind us. We don't know which one is ours, but we got a fancy cabin because this guy here gets pretty grumpy when he doesn't sleep. It's true, not a chance <laughs> to admit it. So I we do. should have a bed, a bathroom, a nice window. I read mixed reviews about these ferries. Some of them are pretty poor, so <laughs> I don't have like super high expectations that we're gonna be traveling in style. But, but I mean, the boats seem fine. I'm excited. We're going to Italy. I know zero Italian. But Vista Mare. That you know. That I know. A beautiful sea view. Look at this little key. It's like a locker room key. And the guys are very friendly and they smell like cologne. So far, very professional service. We're gonna check out our home for the next 10 hours here on this lovely ferry to Bari. Are you nervous? Let's check it out. <laughs> we have bunk beds. We have four yes. bunk beds. Are we gonna uh, guess? Uh, oh my gosh, let's see what we have on this on this window. It is a lovely ocean view. What do you think? It looks pretty comfortable. There's some AC going on. Yeah. We can stay on the top bunk and there's a little, a little thing that blocks you from <laughs> rolling off if the waves are too heavy. It seems pretty clean. I'll give them that. It's clean and cozy. <laughs> we'll show you around and give you the grand tour. We'll give you the grand tour. We also have a private bathroom. Let's nice. And we have a shower. <laughs> <Que pasa? laughs> I cannot believe this is happening. There's poop on the toilet. There's poop on the toilet. There's on a the lot toilet? of poop in the toilet. Uh -huh. <sighs> this is happening again. There was poop on our toilet. Your worst nightmare. Uh huh. This is just great. We have to talk to someone. This group. This group. <laughs> We're not gonna show you that. What? How do you say there's poop in the toilet in Italian? Hoppa ne toiletti. Grosso, grosso. Uh, the, the toilet in the room is very, very dirty. And one, one, one thirty-five. One thirty-five. One thirty-five. It's really dirty. Just a heads up. <laughs> we didn't flush it because I didn't want it to come out. 
Grazie. 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 That was resolved, we think. I don't really want to go in there. It smells clean at least. They're so nice. Everyone's so nice here that makes it really hard for you to get mad. But what he said, and I really want to believe him, is that when the boat is not moving, the septic fluids, I guess, they come up. They rise to the top. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a boat expert. Do you know? I don't know. Let us know in the comments. I really want to believe that someone didn't use the bathroom right before we boarded. But we're going to decompress. We're going to watch the sunset that's behind us. See you upstairs. The outside spaces are pretty nice. There's like four different floors where you can sit outside. This one has a ton of benches, but it's an overnight ferry, which I kind of wish it wasn't. So we could like look out, look for dolphins, see what's out there. So I don't think we'll be spending much time up here in the dark, but it's nice to get some fresh air. I, I can imagine a lot of like smokers come here to hang out and yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to our cabin. Here we have two bunk beds, so we have four beds to choose from. When we booked this room, we thought we booked a room with like a queen size bed, but we got this instead. It's fine for one night if we don't sleep together. Each bed has its own set of clean sheets, extra sheets here, extra blankets. It doesn't feel that cold, but maybe later it'll be colder. Pillows, so you get to have extra pillows that you like. Yeah. This thing that I don't know what it is, I think. A towel? I don't know. Do you put this on top of your pillow, maybe? Who knows? An extra layer of protection, perhaps? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bang your head? <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna sleep tonight. It seems just fine for one night. It's you not fit too bad. perfectly. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Let's see how you fit. Just chilling. Nice. I have a little bit of, oh wait, I just saw a bunch of like old pieces of gum stuck to the side of the thing. <laughs> just noticed. We have this beautiful shared nightstand with the gum on the side if you want to put some pieces of paper there to read in the book. I'll add to it. A socket. I don't know how much work we're going to do tonight because we're going to be sailing from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So I don't think we're going to be using this a lot. And I think you have, oh, this is for calling your attendance, I think, and a light. Oh, uh. <laughs> yeah, so you can, there's only one light. You can turn it off and on from each bed. Huh. This way we have plenty of storage for our suitcases or bags to hang stuff. If you feel like unpacking, more hanging space here and a full mirror. Now it's time to go back in the bathroom. That didn't go as smoothly last time. Clean toilet this time. We have a shower that we also didn't think we were gonna have. I don't think we're gonna use it. Huge improvement on the toilet situation. Oh my gosh, at least it's not brown anymore. That is it for our room tour. Now we're gonna show you another option that is way cheaper than this. another option if you don't want to pay for a private cabin. Seems pretty comfortable. It's called the sleeper area. These are 60 euros, I think. It's nice and cold here. There's a TV. Looks like seems, an airplane chair. Seems pretty comfortable. Yeah, it's kind of like an airplane chair. A little bit more comfortable. You do have like more room, but pretty nice. Welcome to the self-service dining room. I think this is like the main food option here on the ship. There's also a bar with some like hot dogs and pizza that meh, didn't look great. If this doesn't look great, then it's gonna be like ice cream, Snickers, and like Kinder Eggs for dinner, which might be okay. Chicken? This is chicken? Yes. Ah, yeah. Dinner. Dinner is served. We got some beers. So we went for the self-service option. We got some french fries and a basic pasta. And I have to be perfectly honest with you, I tried some of the french fries. They're terrible. The pasta is not very good either. So we're paying way too much for some things that we're probably not going to eat. Definitely the french fries are like cold and like soggy. Really gross. We made a mistake. You're supposed to bring food, I think, onto the ferry because yes. the options aren't great. We saw people like lugging tons of food on. On the way back from Bari to Budas, we won't make that mistake again. We're gonna bring like four pies of pizza, so we're <laughs> fully prepared for that trip. 
but this is just not good and I feel bad like paying like five euros for fries that we will not touch. Right across from the restaurant is this massive common area. I think there's like a general ticket where you can just like come in and find a seat. It seems that way at least. Like people have their luggage, they have their feet up on the sofas and are getting comfortable for the night. I don't know if there's a ticket for this. They also knew about the food situation. They knew about the food situation. Everyone brought their own snacks. And beers. We had a hard fail in that department. We're not going to make that mistake on the way back. We came up here to see when the boat leaves. Hopefully it'll be beautiful. It seems like a really, really beautiful night. It's a little bit chilly. But yeah, we're just waiting to leave. We're a little bit behind, right? Like it's behind schedule. Time. Doesn't seem like it's leaving anytime soon. Yeah. But I think that's normal. We're gonna wait it out and then hit hit the bunk beds. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> Ready? It's time for bed. It is 11:20. We were supposed to take off at 10 p.m. We are not even close to taking off. I think we're still totally tied to the dock. We're getting pretty sleepy, so we're gonna go to bed. Good night. Good night. See you in the morning. See you when we're close to Italy. Bye. Bye-bye. Good morning. It's nine in the morning. We actually both slept okay, so we're pretty happy about that. But the boat didn't leave until 2 a.m. That's four hours after it was supposed to leave from Duras. So we're looking out the window and we don't see anything but blue sea. So we're gonna get a little bit of coffee and we're gonna head to the top deck to see if we can see Italy. But I think we're still like four hours away. Four? We were four hours late and I think we were supposed to arrive around this time. Three or four, I don't know. Coffee. Hopefully we can see Italy. Coffee. Yeah, but there will be coffee. Coffee with an ocean view. The coffee is actually pretty good. Italians love coffee, so you would think in an Italian boat, coffee has to be good. It's pretty good. We were in the wrong side of the boat. That, my friends, is Italy. Right there. I can almost touch it. That's Italy. We woke up in Italy. Ciao Italia. Buongiorno Italia. Ready? Ready. Time to return the keys. We'll see you in a couple days, Ferry. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. Let's go to Italy now. Vamos. Got my driver's license back. I guess we do have to go through customs. I don't know if they stamp your passport or just kind of like check and let you through, but now we wait. We're in Bari, two hours later, the immigration line was crazy. Look at this, could this be? I need more Italian. Now we need to find our Airbnb and we need to regroup because we have no idea what we're doing, but we'll show you when we get there. 
You are Nicola? Nicola, yeah. no, no speak English. Really. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Espanol? Some, no Espanol, no, no, only Italian. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. okay, this is the new apartment. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, it's uh, as, uh, the, the four months, five months. Four months. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, please. We just checked in with our host Nicola into our cozy new apartment in Bari. This is going to be our home for two nights. We're going to show you around. First, we'll look at the bathroom. Very, very nice compared to our bathrooms of the last like four nights. <laughs> I can actually stand up straight under the shower. I won't hit my head. Big upgrade. That never happens. Standard bidet for the last three months. Still haven't used them. And this is our living room and kitchen area. I do have to watch out here because I already hit my head. <laughs> but it's minor, not too bad. We have an Italian espresso machine. I've never seen anything like this, so it'll be interesting tomorrow morning to figure out how to use it. I think it's just like a packet that you shoved in there, but we'll see. We have our dining room table, and if you come further into the apartment, we have the master bedroom. It feels very comfortable. Plenty of pillows, that's good for me because I like to have multiple pillows. And the best part of the entire apartment is this massive balcony. It's like I can run laps, get some exercise, burn off pasta, there's even fresh herbs if we want to make our own pasta. The basil plant looks a little bit weak, but it smells very good. Oh, it smells very, very good. We might have to steal some of this on our way back to Albania. <laughs> and we have very cool views of a very local Italian street. And that is it for today's video. We're going to end it here, but we're going to start a new one right away. So in the next video, we're going to show you around Bari and I think a little day trip that we're going to do. We still don't know what the plans are. We're going to treat this couple of days here as a vacation. But yeah, let us know what you think about the ferry. If you have any questions, let us know. Leave them in the comments and we'll see you next time. Bye.